Hi, this is Shay of Shay Design Studio and I'm here with another Femora 11 tutorial. Today I will be teaching you how to use the motion tracking to blur out a face. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I already have my media imported, but if you don't, you just want to click on this um, media option here and then click on this plus sign to import your media. I'm going to go ahead and bring this video down to the timeline. And then I'll just run it through real quick just to show you what the video looks like. So as you can see here, we have a crime scene here. And what I want to do is I want to blur out the police officer's face here. Okay, so after it went through here, I now know where I can find. If you notice that the, as you can tell in this video, that the camera goes from one person to the next so what I like to do is I'm going to go ahead and just find the areas where this officer's face is and going to clip it about here what I'm going to do is I'm going to splice it and then use the motion tracking a couple times for different clips so I'll go ahead and just slice it here go through it again as you can see we have the reporter here and then see we'll start to see her face come back in so I'll go ahead and start it here clip that and then she's pretty much she's pretty much in the the main focus from there. So I'll go ahead and go back to this first clip and I'm going to right click and then select this video option and with the, the menu I'm going to go ahead and select motion tracking and you'll get this box that comes up so you just want to make it changes or adjustments. I like to make mine a little bit bigger just because she moves around a lot so I just want to make sure that it allows enough space. So I think this will be okay. So once I get the adjustments I want, I'll go ahead and select the start tracking option. And as you can see, let me play it here. It did a pretty good with tracking her. So then I'm going to go ahead and after the tracking goes through, you want to go ahead and select this drop down menu here. And you can either import if you have, say, a smiley face or emoji or something else you want to like, put on their face, you can do that. Um, in this instance, I'm just going to keep it simple and just add a mosaic uh, or a blur. So I'll select that option here. And as you can see, um, there are different options. You have this first option here. You have this option. You have the more pixelated mosaic. And just go through these options real quick. So I'll go ahead and keep it simple and use this one. And you can make your adjustments of how um, blurry you want it to be. Uh, I think I'll keep it at, I mean, I want her face to be completely, completely blurred out. So I'll go ahead and make those adjustments and just remember this setting for when I do the second one and click OK. So let me run that. Alright, so then we'll go to the next one and stop there and then I'm going to find where I want the track. So I'm going to go ahead and use the clip even though she's already previously been shown in this earlier, the earlier part of the clip, I'm going to go ahead and just use this option first where she's fully, I can see her. So again, right click, video, motion tracking, use that square there. big and then do the start tracking okay as you can see it kind of off centered there so I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger and let's do the mosaic option here and I don't know, was it 19 or 26 oh well I'm gonna keep it as close as I did for the first one and then, good thing is you can also still make adjustments either after, even after the tracking's gone through. So again. 
again I'm just gonna make it as big as I can and let's run it through again to see okay so as you can see her top of her head is still showing so go back tracking the good thing is you can still make adjustments as you can see I'm still making adjustments here even after the tracking went through but I mean for overall it does a pretty good job of tracking the face or gives you a pretty good base of where to start so make that change there all right so let me play this He's got a little funny uh, wide eye effect there. Um, but as you can see, so let me go ahead and just put from the beginning. Uh oh, I have to move that. So let's start from the beginning and see what it looks like. If you're like a perfectionist like me you wanted to make sure that all you know everything is covered <laughs> so let's see here all right so let me go from the beginning So let's go ahead and start it from the beginning. All right, it's looking pretty good. So I made sure that I made adjustments as needed just to make sure that the face is covered regardless of how much movement she does. So there you have it. That is how you can use motion tracking to blur or pixelate a face in Femora 11. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment and also please subscribe. And if you have any tutorial requests, please leave those in the comments below as well. And I will see you next time. Bye.